I am sorry. I don't want this to be another sad poem. Sometimes I want to float among the clouds and see you from afar, spot you as a speckle, and then bring you into focus as a tiny and precious little treasure. I've heard of love in the stars and of the ocean and the waves and of birds and flowers and of rainbows and sunshine, but nothing, nothing prepared me for this lingering pain because when you are gone, I only smell the burnt trees and see dry grass and I taste the spoiled fruit and I only hear broken glass on the sidewalks. I feel the heat and the cold, the burns of the fresh cuts and bruises, and I wish that I could photoshop my heart to cover up these scars that you left me with. I'm sorry that I'm vulnerable and weak. I never meant to be this way. I'm sorry that I'm selfish to want you now at this moment, but this empty hole makes me suffer, and I want to utter words that I'm afraid to say, so I try to remember the sound of your voice, sweet, soft, soothing, delicate like lace, pleasant like a deep inhale, and a slow meditative exhale, and I try to doodle and draw pictures of your hands, and I write similes about your eyes and metaphors of your smile so that these memories can be engraved inside me. So wrap your arms around me, feel me like I feel you, love me like I love you because I'm exhausted from the endless drives with the windows rolled down, playing sad music. I'm overwhelmed from the sleepless nights in my lonely room while writing shitty poems about you. And you know what, maybe you're not the most beautiful, but your laughter is, and I'm the happiest person. <laughs> and I'm the happiest person when I witness this moment. And I wish you knew that when I hear your name at random, I quiver like crunchy dry leaves. I wish you knew your name is music to slow dancing like gentle chimes on a breezy day. And I wish you knew that your face is a beautiful memory every day. Your eyes ignite fireworks inside of me ready to explode. And a rush of emotions make me nauseous like rainbows circling inside me. And I wish you knew that the thoughts about you are always, always dripping at the tip of my pen. Thank you.